Hello, this is Josh from Twisted Tools. I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on using a feature called Snap Isolate inside of Reactor. Uh, what Snap Isolate does basically is it allows you to lock a knob or fader or menu uh, into position and have it remain in that position even if you go and change a preset. Um, normally what you'll see happen is if you go and you change a preset you'll also see the knob go back to whatever the state was that you saved uh, the, the preset in. So um, sometimes that's not ideal and you want to basically set a setting and have it stay there no matter what you do. So you use a feature called Snap Isolate to do that. So to get Snap Isolate set up, what you want to do is you want to right click the knob, uh, choose to show it in the properties, and this properties area over here on the left opens up. Uh, this may have already been open, uh, you might have been set to a different tab, just be sure you're looking at this last tab over here on the right with the checkbox and that you have the function tab below set up. Now if I click Snap Isolate, uh, basically it sets it up so that this knob will always remain in position. So if I change my preset here, you'll see it stays that way. So for example, if I want to get my effects set up so that I always have my effects set uh, at about noon like so, uh, I select that, go over here to my properties, make sure that Snap Isolate is turned on, and now every time I change my preset, uh, that effects option stays in position. Now, uh, some ensembles are a bit tricky uh, and aren't so easy. Uh, this will usually work in about 9 out of 10 uh, cases, but uh, there are some exceptions, and Scape ha Scapes has a couple of those. For example, the menus that you see here for the envelope and the menus that you see for the sources uh, don't really give you that option. So the way to set it up with uh, Scapes uh, and to set up Snap Isolate for things like sources and the envelope setting is to right click uh, the menu and choose to show it in the structure in the second pane. When you do so you'll see the structure which is basically the guts of scapes and you want to modify a couple things in here. The things you want to modify are these objects that say snap value. These are the objects that basically store and send uh, a value with each snapshot or preset. So what you want to do is you want to select the snap value module and go to the properties and choose snap isolate. So select that second one there as well. There's two. You want to make sure to get both of them. And once I've snap isolated both of those, uh, I've basically set it so that uh, no matter what preset I'm on, this first source will always be set to external. Now the sources are what feeds the effects. So in this case, I'll have self oscillation happening for all other six sources and then external or live audio input coming into scapes. So check it out. If I go and I change my preset here, uh, to this next one and I go here to settings you'll see that it's still set to external. So uh, my settings stuck I want to do this for all six sources if I want all six sources to be snap isolated uh, it'll just take about a minute so I go in here and I do that and I keep going to source number three snap isolate and snap isolate the second snap value module don't forget to do both and go into this next one here Anyways, I keep going like this and I could snap isolate basically all six uh, of these menus so that I could set them however I like and change through presets and have them stay in place. You can see they're still in the last place I set them. So uh, pretty easy uh, to set up and pretty convenient. Uh, again, you could use this information with pretty much any uh, reactor ensemble out there. So enjoy. Thanks.